Good afternoon and welcome to Virtual Creation Studio here in Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island. Uh, we're delighted to have uh, some great guests from Assumption Life. It's an Atlantic Canada company. Not too often you hear of insurance companies that are Atlantic Canada, which is great. And we're delighted to have Daniel, who is the Associate Vice President of Insurance and Investment, Daniel O'Day. Thank you very much for joining us. Thanks, Law. And Mehdi Sagir, who is the Business Development Manager for all of Atlantic Canada. So he gets to see all of those places that nobody else gets to see. <laughs> and uh, we're delighted to have both of you here to join us here at Atlantic Business Federation. Thank you, Paul. Thanks for welcoming us. Oh, we love to have it. We love your company. Whenever you hear of insurance companies, you think of Toronto. <laughs> and the banks, Toronto. So now yeah. it's it's good to see that uh, there is a, and I, I don't think very many of our, our viewers know that there actually is an insurance company that is owned by Atlantic Canada. So Daniel, yeah. tell us about uh, Assumption Life and, and how it started and what it's all about. Well, you say owned by Atlantic, but it's actually owned by the policyholder, Um Assumption Life actually has been around for a long, long time. Yeah. 1903. 1903. <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness. And and it's uh, it's a mutual, one of the last few uh, in Canada, and it's right here, right here in New Brunswick. So so let me get this straight now. So the policy holders are the owners. Correct. Wow, that's yeah. fantastic to see. So and that's it's, and it's been around since 1903. And 1903. Where, where is it based out of? Is it? Uh, based in Moncton, Moncton currently, but interestingly enough, it started in the U.S. Oh, wow. actually to service the Acadian market, and eventually it moved uh, moved north <laughs> wow. to uh, to serve still at the time uh, almost exclusively the Acadian market. Uh, but we've opened up actually uh, wh while it's based here and very strong in the Atlantic market. It's really a national company. Uh, working coast to coast. So you're um, saying that something good can come out of the U.S. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, that's no, no longer in the U.S. though. No, no, no. <laughs> but it's owned here in Atlantic Canada. Canada. Exactly. No, that's yeah. fantastic. Now, Mehdi, you're you you kind of look after the product side, and obviously Assumption sells life insurance. But what are the four main products that that you guys actually do? All right, Paul. So we have four lines of business. Mm -hmm. We uh, we are offering uh, life insurance for individuals, uh, investments or wealth, and for group. So we are offering group insurance and group retirement. So this is our four lines of business. Wow. Yeah. Which one of the four? Which one will be the strongest one right now? They're so, all important, I would say. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. That's a loaded question. <laughs> That's yeah. a great question. So you, so you would look after the advisors. So you, yeah. you, you have. I, I guess you don't sell at Moncton all the time. So you would have advisors where? Yeah. What's important to know is that, uh, you know, the the Canadians need advice. Yeah. yeah. And at Assumption Life recognized that the 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 importance of advice. So on the individual side, we deal exclusively with uh, independent advisors that are able, that live in the various communities all throughout the Atlantic, but all throughout Canada, that are uh, basically the voice, uh, the voice of Assumption Life to basically best position what makes the most yeah. sense to the customers. Well, we're hearing so many people, you know, you see these commercials on TV with the 1-800 number and call, and mm -hmm. and, and uh, a lot of times they're getting the, the wrong advice or maybe sold a product that really doesn't fit their actual needs. Uh, so having an individual advisor, we've always recommended that to our audience. Go talk to somebody that's an expert, that's local. You guys have those local advisors throughout Atlantic Canada. Yep, exactly. absolutely. Obviously, you're, you're in northern New Brunswick. Are you in Newfoundland as well, too? Yep. Absolutely. Okay, perfect. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's good. We uh, like the rock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And Labrador, too. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah, my, my daughter's a, a Coast Guard, on the Coast Guard, and she's up on the, the rock a lot, so you know, she <laughs> loves it up there. Mortgage insurance, there's so many different programs out there. We know... From experience that Assumption probably leads in finding those solutions that might fit through the cracks and other carriers I guess so Mehdi maybe explain a little bit on on mortgage insurance and and what Assumption is doing differently than say 
other, and I'm not going to knock other insurance companies, oh, yeah. but uh, but but certainly Assumption has got an array of products that are definitely unique and definitely tailor the industry and the clients that might not get traditional insurance. Thank you for this question. So um, mortgage insurance needs term insurance. So just to explain, there is term insurance to cover the term needs, and we have also whole life insurance to cover the whole life. Yeah. So. Again, like you, I recommend you guys and all the listeners to talk to their advisors so they will be able to explain you the details of the details. Talking about mortgage insurance, we have prepared five reasons why you have to go with Assumption Life like products, and we call this product Flex Term. Mm -hmm. So, first of all, you are not locked in with a bank. So, your coverage stays with you, get the freedom to bank and refinance the uh, refinance, refinance uh, and shop around for the best mortgage rates without having to reply again for insurance. So this is reason number one. Reason number two, you are in control. So it benefits your family, not the bank, and you have the ability to choose your, your beneficiary. So you are free with your, with your coverage. Uh, reason number two, this is very, very sensitive, very important and the written at the time of the application. That's a big deal. Actually, right. I'm going to throw a question after you finish yeah. that. That might tie in. Of course, of course. So this is very important. And uh, uh, it means contrary to the most of banks, you don't risk learning you're not covered at time of claim. So we do everything before. If you're accepted, you're covered. If there is something, we do have another type of products for you. No uh, want any surprises. Exactly. There is no surprises. Um, more cash in your pocket, so it's more affordable. And uh, we can talk about that later in terms of premiums. Uh, reason number five, coverage that can last a lifetime. So keep your coverage for as long as you need it. As long as you pay the premiums, the coverage with, uh, will automatically renew. And we can discuss about that later. And, and also, reason number six, it's a level uh, coverage. So it's not decreasing like what banks can offer. So uh, it's more quality in terms of coverage, and it's affordable for Canadians or for the, the clients from the Atlantic to pay uh, premiums. So I, 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 we had a client come into our office a couple of months ago, and she had uh, three children with her. Her husband was uh, was was on a trail in the winter time up okay. in northern New Brunswick, and he had a couple of beer and he hit a tree, and when they did the autopsy, they found that there was alcohol in his bloodstream, so he they, they denied his claim. Uh, yeah, yeah. So so it's just for our audience, so they get yeah. a clear understanding of what being underwritten at time of death versus being underwritten at time of issue means. So when you say assumption is you get your mortgage insurance through there instead of the bank, yep. and somebody, it, it goes to underwriting. Yep. So if somebody died in that situation, they would be covered because it was already underwritten. Exactly, 100%. Okay. So, so the due diligence that takes place, takes place at the time where you decide that you need the insurance, not afterward when when actually you need you need the money at that point and then you could get surprises so so with bank insurance and when people buy bank insurance what they're really saying is they're giving you an option to get covered mm -hmm. not that you are covered that's correct you said this very well okay. exactly and the second part I like to say and I'm not knocking the, the all five but the second one we get quite a bit as well at Atlantic Business Federation we do a lot of mortgages as everybody knows a client comes into my office and they want $200,000 worth of uh, life insurance. So they buy it, but when the, if something happens, uh, they they would be able to get that if say one of this one of the two principals die, they would get the full amount on that. So it's 200,000, they bought a $200,000 life insurance policy, they would be able to get 200,000 even though the mortgage is now down to 100,000. Exactly, Correct. exactly. So, so with so if you so if that person had bank insurance and it decreased every month, every month, every month and then something happened, they would only get what's remaining on the mortgage. It follows the mortgage. That's Mind right. you just just for clarification, we have both available. 
Actually, we have the level, which is the dominant solution yeah. that would be purchased. For obvious reason, you want to stay covered for the level coverage. But if a client insists or absolutely want a decreasing type of coverage, that's also available. Okay. It wouldn't follow exactly what the mortgage outstanding balance is, okay. but nevertheless, it decreases. And because it's decreasing, right. it would be come at a cheaper cost as well. Yeah. Yeah. But it's underwritten at the beginning. But it's underwritten at the beginning, the same. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. No, that's that's fantastic. And I think it, if anybody had an opportunity to see that CBC uh documentary i think was w5 uh on the difference between bank insurance and and mortgage insurance uh you might want to watch it we'll, we'll put the links for that video down below uh and we'll we'll we'll, we'll have a little uh, brochure if you will on the differences between the two and uh that's from assumption right Paul, so actually maybe one point i'd like to uh, just re-emphasize we're talking a lot about life insurance but often time customers uh, neglect to cover all needs that they would have. Yes. Uh, and I'm thinking disability insurance, critical illness insurance, on top of life insurance. They are, that All three are important, but what people often don't realize is that the risk of becoming disabled by the time you reach 65 or become critically ill, perhaps, by the time you reach 65, are very the probabilities are very high actually i've got a question for you sure <laughs> what do you think is the probability of uh dying prematurely for a 40 year old male or female dying prematurely if you're 40 by the time you are reach 65 uh, suffer from a disability or uh, suffer from a critical illness what would be approximately the chances of that happening by the time we reach 65? Male, female, everything. Well, I, I would say that disability probably would be the most. And you're correct on this. Yeah. Yeah. And the second highest would be critical, critical illness. And the third one would actually be the risk of dying prematurely. If you combine all three, all in one, it's about a one in two chance. Wow, that's Two, something. Nearly 50%. Whether you're a smoker or a non-smoker, it's around 50%. So with, when, when people get mortgage insurance, they have the, the option of getting life insurance, critical illness, and disability on that policy. As a bundle. You and could one get policy, one yeah. or the other or all together as a bundle that's as well. Um, that's amazing. So that's why Atlantic Canada and Canadians need to be dealing with assumption insurance instead of anybody else. Mm -hmm. Because I, my understanding is, well, is that it's one of the easiest places to go to get those products and, and the underwriting team have made it streamlined so much easier than just about any other carrier. So it's a, it's a great product. Speaking of great products and the necessity of these products, the simplified, uh, what we're finding now is that a lot of people have pre-existing medical conditions and they're, they're unable to get mortgage insurance. Uh, and that's unfortunate. We see it all the time at the office. So, Mehdi, if, if you want to discuss or maybe elaborate on the new simplified issue products that are available now. Thank you. So I will not go through the details, but I, the only thing that I can say, don't worry about it. We have solutions for every conditions. So we have what we call it simplified issue solutions. And this is ideal for clients with past medical conditions looking for hassle-free process. So if you're diabetic, suffering from cancer, don't worry. Your advisor with Assumption Life can offer you a great, great, um, great product. And we have four, five uh, products. We are offering more immediate. Immediate, it means like you answer some questions with your advisor that can help you understand very well the questions, the medical questions. You answered questions, first premium, you're covered in 24 hours. Wow. So very quick process. But again, you need to go through and see your advisors, your financial advisor, life insurance advisor, and they will explain you details. Everything that I want you to remember is we have solutions for every conditions. 
That's amazing. And, and, and it's great to see that the guaranteed issue products are now available for yeah. Atlantic Canadians. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's up to $500,000, just to let you know. So you can get up to $500,000 with this type of life insurance. Wow, that's amazing. That's a, That must be one of the best in the industry. I would, I would have to say that there would be very few companies that would offer yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. What's interesting, actually, maybe just a, a point of clarification in here, it's called Simplified for a reason. It's yeah. simple. Yeah, that's true. And uh, <laughs> it's it's uh, it's going over like the the applicant, uh, the the insured. All they have to do is basically answer a bunch of questions to establish their risk profile, their their health profile. And so you've got the questions. You answer yes or no. And once you're able to answer no to all of the questions, then you know that you qualify for one of our solution or another one we have five solution uh, yeah. available and this uh, and there wouldn't be any uh, blood sample necessary or any uh, paramedical paramedical applicable nothing. it's basically answering you got to know your own health situation well of course but once you do and the individ- independent advisor would ask you the question one by one and as long as you can answer no to all of the questions, then you qualify. That's oh, it's, it's fantastic. It just it allows people to have that uh, that assurance that uh, if something does happen, that at least they're going to be their family is yes. going to be looked after. It's and we were talking before the podcast about the ages. So now we are offering this kind of product that Daniel mentioned right now up to age 85 years old. Really? Yes, 85? Sir. 85. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> oh, wow. That's insurance ins- for everybody. That's that's fantastic. 85. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, you know, I'm still 29, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can, we can see that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so banks versus insurance. You know, lots of people come into our office and they say, oh, no, 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 I've got, uh, I've got my insurance through the bank. I'm covered. I'm, you know, I'm in good hands. Uh, there are some significant differences between banks and insurance. Uh, we went over some of those. So do you want to elaborate on that just a little bit, Mitty or Daniel? Well, for the for one thing, when you get your own insurance, you get to choose who's the beneficiary. When you go to a bank, it's basically the beneficiary will be the bank to pay themselves first. Of course, you could buy insurance to cover the mortgage, but wouldn't it be better to name your own beneficiary, even if the purpose is to cover the mortgage once you die prematurely? So that's definitely one. Another one, Paul, you've alluded to in here is that what you get with the banks is that you get to cover the mortgage. That would be the balance of the mortgage, which would be, of course, decreasing over the years. With a product from a traditional insurer, you get to choose to have a level coverage. Yes. So if you need 200,000, 400,000, half a million of coverage, well, you get to choose that it will remain this even if the balance of the mortgage will have decreased to half of that or even eventually you pay off the mortgage, yet you still would have, as long as you still want it, still have the coverage at the initial value. Well, it's just like I say, it's an amazing firm since 1903, imagine, uh, Atlantic Canadian Company. We will put the links down below of how to get a hold of an advisor, you know, within your area. Uh, we'll put some links below to uh, the difference between bank insurance and mortgage insurance. And we'll put some links below to uh, some other, the other products uh, and services that, that should be available. But the most thing is, is, is contact assumption. We'll put the address down below and, and have a chit chat with the people that are in your area. And uh, it's a great company and they really do care about the clients of Atlantic Canadians. And, and it shows, we had dinner with them last night and uh, it was, it was, it was the, the energy and the positiveness of the, the, this, this team uh, is just amazing. So um, we're, we're really thankful very much for you to come in, both Mitty and, Thank and Daniel. Both. Thanks, Bob. Uh, and we, we invite you back anytime. But uh, again, assumption, mutual yes, life sir. insurance. You got company. it. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> I missed the, the, the mutual a couple of times. So. No it's important because, you know, Oh, it's are, huge. It's owned by the policyholder, yeah. and the insurance is really facilitated through 
the good work of the independent advisors. Yeah. So you need the good advice and you need to have control over uh, over the company and and if it could be local, even better yet. Well, it's, it's, yeah. well Atlantic Canadians do everything better, just so you know. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> so, exactly. so thank you again. And uh, we'll sign off and we will uh, upload this and we would ask you if there's any questions, uh, give us a like, give us a share, uh, click on the links below and uh, share that with as many people as you possibly can. So be safe out there and uh, enjoy the weekend. Thanks, Thanks, Paul. Enjoy the weekend. Bye. Thanks.